The college baseball now Savannah State opens its 2024 campaign at home this Saturday. And for Tiger fans, they hope the team can maintain the high level of success they have witnessed over recent years. In the past two seasons, Savannah State has posted 30 plus wins. And last year, the team advanced to the conference championship game. In 2024, the Tigers lose two first team all conference performers, one in outfielder Joe Smith, another in pitcher Enrique Peel. And the second, and they also lose second team all conference performer Jared Showalter. On the plus side, though, Savannah State does return second team all conference pitcher Jose Santiago. The Tigers say they are ready for what 2024 has to offer. I'd say we probably grew the most just coming coming together because in the fall, you know, it's everybody out competing for a spot. And now that we're kind of fi filling in our roles and getting everything ready for season, I think we've come together a lot as a group and just feels like everyone's just ready to play. Like we're all just antsy, ready to get the season going. This year we got a lot of young guys. I feel like they bring a lot of energy and we're trying to, you know, learn from them as much as they learn from us too. Uh, I think that helps it, that we bring the energy that we had last year and years before because that's always helped us, especially later in the season. That's how we just, how we're successful for the most part. Savannah State opens the season at home this Saturday, bright and early, 10 a.m. as they host Bluefield State. And speaking of Savannah State and college basketball, the women edge out a two-point win over Benedict College. The rematch will be Saturday at Tiger Arena at 2 p.m. As for the men, not so lucky. They fall to Benedict College. At one point, the Tigers were shooting just 11% from the field. Hopefully, this Saturday at 4 p.m. will yield a better performance. That's right for sports. Stay with us. More news is next.